Hi, second graders. Today we're going to be regrouping with base 10 blocks for a subtraction problem. So as you can see, our subtraction problem is 56 minus 38. And today we're going to solve that using base 10 blocks. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start by showing 56. So what I need to do is I'm everybody's going to use this website today called Number Pieces. So you'll use the same website today. So watch carefully to see how Ms. Rutherford does this. So first, I'm going to start by showing 56. So I have 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. OK, so I have all of my 10s. Next, I'm going to show six ones. So I have 1, 2, three, four, five, and last but not least, six. So as you can see right here, I have 56, okay? Then our job is to subtract 38. So we need to be subtracting 38 first. Let's start with our ones. We always start with our ones when we're subtracting. All right, let's subtract eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. But as you can see, we don't have enough to subtract eight. So what do we need to do? We need to regroup. So we need to go over to our tens and we need to take one of the tens. Let's take this one. And we need to move it over to our ones column. Okay, so we're taking this tens and we're regrouping it into 10 ones. Now, what you can do is you can duplicate these ones using this tool. Okay, it says duplicate. So I'm going to duplicate this 10 times because we need 10 ones. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 10 ones now. That means we can get rid of this 10 since we have just regrouped it. All right, now we can carry on with our problem. Let's see if we can subtract eight ones now. I can get rid of this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we've got rid of eight. Now we can go ahead and subtract 30. Let's see if we can just subtract 30. 10, 20, 30. All right, perfect. Now we've subtracted 38 from 56. Now we can count to see how many we have left. So if you can see, let's count our ones. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 ones left. All right, let's count our tens. We just have one. So we have 10 and eight. So I know that 10 plus eight equals 18. So I think my final answer is 18. Let's check it using our equation. So I'm going to write 56 minus 38. Yeah. All right, so let's try it using this equation. Okay, 6 minus 8. As you saw over here, we know we can't do that, so we need to regroup. So we took 1 away, we took a 10 away, and we were left with 4 tenths, so we were left with 40. And then we brought 10 over since we regrouped, and we had 16 ones. All right, so that's me showing my regrouping. Then we can subtract. Now, we have 16 minus 8, which we know is 8. And 4 minus 3 is 1. So I checked my work. Yay, we got it correct. All right, so you are going to try this today.